Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to work on the other uh, uh, the other meals here. We have pizza, we have pats uh, pasta, whatever. So we need to here, for these links, we need to do the same exact thing. We need to create a tag, for example, for the pizza, I'm going to say a tag, and then another, uh, and then uh, href, and then we need to say double curly braces, and then root, root, and then I'm going to say specific, specific product however we need to say comma and then category category and the category here is going to be pizza here pizza and uh, between I'm going to copy this li and then paste it inside this a tag here and I'm going to remove this filter I'm going to remove this filter and we need to re we need to repeat the same thing with the pasta and the fries here I'm going to copy this now and then I'm going to paste it two times here and here and here we need to say pasta and fries here here I'm going to say pasta and here I'm going to say fries now here we need to say burger and then pa pizza and then here pasta pasta and then fries of course if you have other meals you need to pass here the correct name here uh, now we need to open the uh, the uh, the project controller and in the project controller actually there is nothing we need to change because the category here this function is going to de uh, return the 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 meals depending upon the keyword here so this is the power of using one function um, for many routes so here we have as you can see we have one two three four 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 different uh, meals for different categories uh, we are using the same function for these four different categories the, the the reason is because we are using this category keyword that's gonna be passed to the function and the function will re return the um, the meals according to this category that has been passed let me now save and head on over to the browser to test now in the browser first I'm gonna refresh and uh, I'm gonna click on pizza if I click on pizza here, uh, if I click on pasta or pizza, I have a problem. So the problem is in the web here. I should say the function is the function should be specific product. So I forgot here to say specific product. Let me save and test. I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna go back and test. So I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna test here. If I refresh, first if I click on all, I'm gonna get all the meals. If I click on burger, I'm gonna get only burger. If I click on pizza, I'm gonna get only pizza. But since I don't have any pizza here. Let me add here, for example, let me change this category from actually this one. Let me change this one from uh, burger to pizza. This this, this is going to be pizza just for testing. And this one is going to be, let's say this one is pasta. And this one is fries. Fries. So now let me refresh and test one more time. So if I click on pizza, I'm going to get only one meal, which is, of course, this is not pizza, but just for testing. I have only one uh, one meal now in my database that is uh, categorized under the pizza. Uh, if I click on pasta, I also have one meal that is categorized as uh, a pasta meal. Uh, we also have for the fries, we only have one meal. For burger, we have three meals. All we will get all of the meals so all we will get all of the meals here and again in the in the products we don't need this bar at the end we don't need this bar the reason is because uh, the reason is because uh, here we are get, we are getting all of all all of the meals already so we don't have anything to add so this is how you can display a specific uh, a meal or meals by uh, by here having or displaying the meals that you have in your restaurant and then if you if user clicks on one of these meals you return specific meals to users